Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Home Based Business Review with Carl Dutton. I'm your host, and I would love to share with you with something that a lot of you have always been typing and writing and, and requesting information on. It's how to market your business. Uh, what kind of business should you go into? Well, we're going to discuss that with an expert, okay? We're going to bring on Sean Mitchell. John Mitchell is an expert in the field of marketing. He's been around a while. I mean, he's going to tell you his story, how he got involved, and uh, and I'm sure he's going to answer some of the questions you guys probably are thinking. So, Sean, welcome to Home Based Business Review. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Thanks for having me on, Carl. Oh, my pleasure. You know, I have a lot of my audience here are asking that question. First of all, let's talk about your journey. Why did you start marketing? First, let's go back to where it all started first. Sure, I could I could describe that. Uh, let's see, back in uh, let's say back in 1997, I was still uh, full time active duty in the Air Force. Uh, the dot com thing was going on, uh, and I was just playing around. And I put up a little page, drove some traffic to it, and made 50 bucks. And I was still also going to college full time, so I was a pretty busy guy. But you know, I had a few hours here and there to play around online, so I did and produce some cash. Uh, long story short, is I got my bachelor's while I was in the Air Force, and I had to make decision to stay in and apply for a commission or get out and try this dot-com thing and it's kind of like you ever hear the saying no guts no glory I was feeling a little froggy so I jumped um you know I did that and so 1999 is when I got out of the Air Force and you know, I put in a lot of hours in this affiliate marketing stuff and I finally had my first nine grand month 1999 wow. uh, within a couple like about a month or two after getting out of the Air Force so I was able to move home to California. I uh, didn't have to go back with my tail between my legs. So that was a really good feeling. But I tell you what, it did take some 12 to 16 hour days to get there. Um, tried everything from pretty pages, complicated websites. And I finally boiled down to simple works best, short and sweet. That was the best and uh, testing offers was a big one. Had to test a lot of different programs to see what worked and what were hot offers, what weren't, what traffic worked, which traffic didn't work. Uh, so that was my start. And then, tell, by, go ahead. Tell me what your your breakthrough. What explain to me? I, I like to brag a little bit, but I want you to brag. What's the most you made in a month? And oh, what was, the, what was the breakthrough to make that happen? You know, the breakthrough for me came around two thousand. About I want to say June of two thousand one. Uh, that's when I first had my first uh, consistent ten to thirty thousand dollar month. And honestly, what that took, uh, I had to get really good at generating free traffic that converted well. Um, so I want to call it semi-automated traffic. And then I had to pay for some ads. Uh, the other big takeaway from that time for me was focusing on selling like one primary thing and testing those offers. And by, off by testing offers, I mean, when you put up a page with your offer on it, the biggest thing you can focus on is your headline. Your headline is like 80% of what uh, matters. Like, what is your big offer? What is the big promise? What is the problem that you're solving? And how do you use the magic word to get people to get that and want more information? And that was really it. Um, so the test pages, if you're getting out there getting traffic, I'd say throw a thousand hits to a page and then change it up and throw another thousand hits to a page and see what turns into leads and what converts into sales the best. Um, so that was really key for me, is focusing on one thing primarily to sell and testing those landing pages. Everybody that I know that's ever made, you know, 30,000 and up a month, they're, they're really good, even if they're selling something that everybody's selling, oversaturated product, it's in the market, but it's a hot offer. You don't send it to the necessarily, to the squeeze pages that everybody else is create your own and then you send it to the order form or you capture the lead and then send it to an order form what a lot of people are using today which i i recommend it's good practice i'm, I'm implementing this myself is putting what they call a bridge page so you have the offer you have the headline the little benefits text maybe an image and then an opt-in box on the next page before you send them right to the company offer you might want to have a little video or a picture of you with some more words describing more fully what they're getting into because you always want to be branding you right you want to get your audience to know like and trust because if you're not doing that 
you're missing a huge opportunity. Because what that will do, it'll make your list trust you more and get to know you. Because if, what if the offer changes in, say, two to three years? Well, if they were just married to the offer and never, not, never knew about you, then it's kind of a lost cause. You can't bring them to a new opportunity as easily. And you want that because people are people. They want to know if you're relatable, if you're real, or if you're just put pitching them some nonsense. They can, they can smell real. Yes, they can. And I thank you for that information there. Those who are listening, uh, I hope you do have a piece of paper and pen or pad right next to you uh, because these are life-changing information that it's going to save you a lot of, a lot of money because you didn't know about it. And here you have an expert who's telling you about it. So if you're very serious about making money online, listen again. Because I'm sure that uh, Sean uh, actually charged for his time. Um, yeah. But you're getting it free right now. So let me go and, and move forward on the interview here. I do know that you are with a company called Highway Global. Okay? Yes. Uh, Saving Highway Global. And uh, tell talk a little bit about that. You know what I like about this more than anything? Uh, you can go out there and chase one-time sales, and I've done that before, and it's great. Uh, the thing with this, it's it's two two reasons. There's two reasons why I think it's a hot offer. Right now in this current economy, there's a lot of people like a couple months ago, your gas fill up cost maybe 60, 70 bucks. Now it's costing over 100 bucks. Food's going up. So people on tight budgets, and even if you're even all the wealthy people I've known, and I've known a few in my life. They don't like paying full price for stuff. They like deals, right? So if you're struggling, you also want to get in this mindset, your job in managing money is the thing. Keep as much money as you can, like savings and whatnot, getting deals, uh, asking for deals, and then make some more money, right? So you gotta hit it, hit it from both sides. So I think this is a wonderful opportunity for that. But also I'm a huge fan of recurring income. I don't have to like, if you're out there chasing one-time sales, you get to eat what you kill. This way, if people are in there in a recurring income model and you're getting paid residual monthly, oh, that's a much better situation to get in. What, what happens if you got you know, injured in a car accident? You got sick. Uh, what if you want to take a week or two off? You know, uh, it's hard when you're doing one sale, one time sales to do that. Cause if you're not working for a month and you're not making those one time sales and you're not getting that traffic, um, you're, you're out and that's a big deal. So I think recurring is, is a wonderful model. Also, it has a value, what they call a value ladder. So you can get people in at like $20, right? That's not a big, that's not a big ask. That's a pretty low barrier entry to have a business. And then they can upgrade to the hundred, $197 package. And, go on and they can show other people how to do the same thing and that just builds under you uh, so that's a real powerful model right there yeah and you, you know i totally agree with you there you know when you save your money you're making money you put money in your pocket and yeah most company i think you got to go out there and try to bring a whole bunch of people in to buy something they don't really want they did doing it because they want to try it uh here's something uh that you're doing that you know you're going to be paying for at the end of the month. Why not save your money? And at the same time, why not tell your friends about what occurred? So it's, it's a win-win. And it's also saving money on, on not just stuff that you don't want to buy. It's, it's saving money on stuff you're already buying. Yes. So it's not like you're going out of the way to, oh, I have to buy this new, new pill, potion, lotion, uh, juice that'll save the world. It's stuff you're already buying. You're just going to save money on it. So I think that right there is important as well. I think that's a big, big, big deal. And then another part about this too is the stick rate's probably really good. Here's why. If you show people how to save money and then they replicate the steps that you show them on making money, when do they want to stop doing that? Probably not. They're probably going to stick around. It's kind of like with email subscriber lists if you bought into GetResponse or AWeber. So you build up your list to a couple hundred, you know, a couple thousand people and you're making a couple grand a month. When do you want to move email providers or web hosting? When you set up websites and all these pages and all this stuff, do you really, do you really want to move? No, that's a pain. So I, I look at that as another aspect of this. It's really good. The rate's probably amazing. And you know, when you have a company like this, um, uh, same highway global that attracts people like me and you. Mm -hmm. because we see it all out there 
Right. And one of the things, the, the reason why I signed up was I want to help people. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I want to help people. I want the easiest way for them to make money and save money without trying to sell them anything. I just present a link to a person. They look at the video and they just sign it. Okay, who can do that? It's a one, two, three. It's very easy. Oh, and yeah. That was number one that attracted me for this particular company. Let's talk about other things that you're doing. Go ahead and tell me what else you're doing. Oh, what else am I doing? All right now, I'm just testing offers. New offers. I'm going all in on this uh, Savings Highway Global. Uh, testing new traffic. I'm testing landing pages because it's one of these things you need to do. Like, yeah, you can use you can use the system they they have right now, and I'm sure it's converting well. And I know they have plans to roll it because uh, Daniel I think was talking about the other day about rolling out some more marketing collateral, different landing pages that will get conversions. Uh, but I'm kind of I like to do it myself because it's really not that hard. Um, you can set up little squeeze pages. I could I could show people how to do that. I could do a video on how to do that it's not that hard change out a few words test the traffic right? test different traffic test TikTok. the things i like to do because i have a background in search engine optimization which means just getting things to rank on the first page of google yes. um, is is the i'm going to start using okay i'm just going to give some free information away right here uh for people out there uh if you go look for certain uh questions or topics on uh google you will see listings pop up on the first page of Google from Quora, which is a question and answer website, also from YouTube, uh, and also from Pinterest. So those things can easily hit page one. And the difference between search engine traffic and say TikTok, even though TikTok has the volume of traffic, so I'd say please jump in, just get some traffic and play with it. But it's the difference between standing on a screen corner with like a bag of oranges or you know flowers or something yeah some people are going to want them just don't be a whole bunch of people driving by you not paying any attention right and that that's cool and it does work however it'll be a lower volume of traffic but when people are typing into google i want to buy oranges i want to buy flowers and you happen to be there that's way different that's a very potent traffic to get so go out there and play with it you can look um there, there's some more tricks to that, but go out there and search on Google. Um, do put in like a word phrase and brackets and then do plus uh, Quora.com. And just look at some of the phrases, whatever your market is, uh, like say affiliate marketing or say uh, weight loss or fitness or something like that. Some keyword phrases you know people might be searching for. And then tell me if you don't find Quora, Pinterest or you. And the beauty about those little uh, things that you put out, like a little Pinterest post or a little YouTube video or a core question or a core blog, core space, um, that's like a little soldier getting you, I don't care if it's getting you one to five hits a week or a day, it's a, a little soldier that's just gonna stay there for a period of time that's working. So even if I'm not doing four to five TikToks a day, I have a bunch of that stuff working out there for me doesn't matter because that traffic is going to just be there and it's going to keep coming in so that's that's another free tip for everybody out there those two platforms research it look on youtube on how to rank with or how to rank with youtube how to rank with pinterest you'll find tons of videos that will give you great information on it has never been the time i think that it's so easy to get traffic because you got to go where everybody's at where the eyeballs are right Yep. And, then, yep. and then everything you just said is where they at, and people complicate it because they don't do it. Oh, and I'll tell you right now, imperfect action beats perfect inaction every day of the week. Don't. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm a little mindset trick for some of y'all out there because you care a lot. And you're trying to be a perfectionist, and I've done I've suffered from that in the past. Just do something. I don't care if it's imperfect put something out every day. Because like I said, that little soldier, if it's a blog post, a core post, a Pinterest, YouTube, that little soldier, its job is to give you traffic. And one other huge piece of advice, always be capturing the leads. Here's why. The number one asset you can have in business is an email list and people that know you. And you can market to them and talk to them again and again and again. It's kind of like this. I explain it. 
do like with websites. Say if you get like a ton of traffic to a website, hold your hand out like this, right? And pretend you're pouring a huge bucket of sand over your hand and all your fingers are outstretched. But that sand's going right through. When you put a bucket underneath it, collect some of the sand, you could talk to that sand again and again and again and again until they leave your list. So don't waste tra- don't waste the traffic, especially if you're paying for traffic, but even if you're doing the free stuff like for Pinterest and YouTube, it's still costing you time, right? And your time is valuable, so collect the leads. Always collect a lead. Email daily. Talk to them. I don't care if you're just sharing something personal or being real with them, giving some free training. Hey, I saw a cool video from this guy. He taught me a lot of stuff. You know, be cool to people and be real with them, and they'll, they'll respond uh, accordingly, in my opinion, and based yeah. on what you name. I like those examples. Uh, one big thing is call to action. A lot of people, they, they lose that. They, you got a call to action at the end of whatever you're, you're talking about. Uh, if not, what they're going to do, give them something to do. Okay? Yeah. And, and of course, the connection is being built over and over and over again. Okay. But yes, yeah. you're totally right. You're definitely totally right. Well, Sean, listen, we need to call you back. <laughs> yes, I'm happy to come back on and share more tips and tricks, but really yes. get out there and do something. And, and as a mindset trick, and I'm going to use a very simple language. Yes. And I can tell that you're you're very good at what, what with your information you are talking about hitting the, hitting the, the hammer on the head of the nail. Okay. Yeah. This and is one in the wood, okay? And I, and I love that. And I'm sure my audience is sitting there going, please, can you have him come back, please? I want to hear more. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'll leave you with this, the last little ninja mental uh, tricks that I like to use. Because uh, I've I also been a cat counselor in a previous life. Okay. Um, care less about what other people think about you just kind of care less but also at the same time care more about helping people than getting facing cash when they say that and you truly want to help people like I sometimes i don't care i got some free training and i'll give it away because a lot of times if people see that and you really put your heart and soul into it and you actually give them results in advance but so man if you're if your free stuff is this good, your paid stuff's got to be really good. But really, the point is, it's just you got to want to help people, and that will that will in turn get you some money. But while you're doing that, get over yourself, get over being imperfect. You know what? I'm not marketing to like Frank Kern. I'm not marketing to you know the owner of this company. Um, they're they're wait, ahead of me. Who I'm trying to help are the people like okay, so I'm right here. But there's always somebody behind you that doesn't know a few things. Help that person. Focus on that person. And you'll grow from there. Yes. Help those get what they want, and you'll get what you want, pretty much. Givers game. That's Givers right. Game. Well, Sean Mitchell, once again, pleasure to have you, and we'll be looking forward to talking to you very soon. Great. Thanks so much, man. Take care. Bye.